desire of my heart, lover of my soul, joy of my salvation, lifter of my head, lily of the of Sharon, that is who you are. We're going to look at the area of church, family, music and the arts, students, mums at home and any other areas that may have been missed. You're welcome to be commissioned today. Today we welcome Billy Paulson, a songwriter and musician. He's written songs that have been in a number one place for numbers of weeks, like Step by Step and Mora Salison Verskane, and numbers of others. Could you share with us how God has used you to take ground, particularly in the area of the Northern Arts Festival? A lady the other day uh, on Facebook reminded me, I worked at Markham's uh, for many years, and I would say I was the best tea maker. Nobody made better tea than me and Five Roses. And she reminded me that uh, how I used to have open air services and my lunchtime in front of the shop. <laughs> Those were the days, but I can remember that I, I would preach to anything that, that moves. Coming from the background that I come from, from a musical family, it was easy. Because I've seen how my brother was transformed from, from a nobody to Neville Nash, which was the great singer at that time. When I started the Northern Arts Festival in 2007, it was a call. Prior to that, in 2006, I went on a 40-day fast, and I needed to know where I needed to go into. I needed to know what God had in store for my life. And it came clearly to me three things. To do redemption through the arts, to establish a radio station to bring identity to a community, and to do an establishment, to establish something which is a a, a training center, a music academy. Now the music academy has been in my head for over 30 years, but that was the sequence. For the first year it was, I thought about 5,000 people would be enough. 15,000 people came. How do you manage the next year? 30,000 people came. Last year we had 50,000 people at one, uh, at one sitting in, on a Saturday. This year a major airlines in, in England are busy uh, uh, advertising the festival on the website. Globally, now we'll have international people coming this year. How do you manage that? It will take finances, it will take a lot of logistics, it will take a lot of planning. But you know what? God is faithful, always has been. He said it, I believe it, and He will provide for it. Now, why am I doing this? It's, uh, what benefit is there? There is benefit because the kingdom benefits. But God has blessed so many people, young people that has gone through that festival. Uh, 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 I could see on a Sunday afternoon, we have the festival from the Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday we have double the amount of people coming for the gospel festival, for the music, because that is our, our community is made up out of more than 80% Christians and we can only find our identity in Christ. Now music is a powerful tool, the art is a powerful tool. Many of the young people are trying to find their identity in the music, in the arts, in the performance side of it. And, and it's a very dangerous ground that we walk on. God says, I'll give you power, but I don't share my glory. And the arts is about glory. It's about, it's about all that and more. And many times young people, and especially in the arts, fall for that. When you get your first royalty check perhaps, or before your first performance when they pat you on the back and they say, oh, you sang nice. And you start being on television, and you start being on radio, and all these things coming in, it becomes yourself and glorifying yourself. And that's where the danger steps in. So I believe with the Northern Arts Festival, it's, it's totally different. The Northern Arts Festival is not built on creativity. It's not built on an individual. People come to the Northern Arts Festival. They don't see Billy Paulson. They don't see the artist that comes there. They see the brand and that is what I want to establish that the Northern Arts Festival is the platform that will launch you ever into a direction with a good basis because we have training and we have development to the younger artists. And God is doing wonders in that area. And I'm, I'm so fortunate and I'm so blessed to be part of what he's doing. 